I just heard a knocking. Maybe you can spread the word at Mom's Club. I'm getting into the babysitting game. No, absolutely not. You're not ready to babysit. Wait, what? All my friends are babysitting. Why can't I? You still have me take your temperature rectally. Yeah, it's more accurate. You panic easily. You're neurotic. You're afraid of your own shadow. <laughs> what? M me and my shadow are totally cool now. <gasps> Please, Mom. This means a lot to me. Tell you what. If you can tell me which ham the strawberry's in, you're ready. <sighs> I knew you weren't ready. Whoa! That's how you babysit. Whoa! A strawberry gun! No! Jeff! Stop! Thanks for your business, Leo. We'll get you there next time, buddy. I knew Leo wasn't going to orgasm. In fact, I made sure of it. He doesn't know? But I've been working against him. Leo's got it easy compared to me. Mom won't let me babysit. She keeps treating me like I'm still some helpless little child. Kids are no joke. I learned that the hard way after Rogu was born. You remember Rogu? Rogu, maybe? Rogu, my baby? Probably heard the rumor that he used to be my tumor. He's Rogu, my baby? He's here! Anyway, that little rhyme's how I remember who he is. Do you keep Rogu in the room while you... Punch aluminum siding salesman in the balls? Yes, Steve but I always put Rogu in the bath with his favorite music. Hey, buddy. The itsy bitsy Rogu was wearing his headphones because his dad was giving a rusty trombone. This way he has no idea what's going on. Rogu is daddy. Yeah, maybe I should do my dates outside the house. I know. How about you watch Rogu while I'm out, and afterwards I'll tell Francine what a great job you did. She'll have to admit you're ready. That's perfect. I can start tonight while she's at her club. Cargo through tunnel. Oh, I taught him that. <laughs> if he gets cranky, just rock him to sleep. Sleep fixes everything. <laughs> Anything else? Three important rules. Absolutely no candy, no screen time, and don't let him look at my ant farm. He didn't want to chip in for it, so he doesn't get to enjoy it. I'm off to Mom's Club. We're going to the Sharks game. Getting there early. I heard they got a new porta potty outside Gate J, and I'd really like to break that thing in. Now it's just you and me. Should I order us some Domino's? Rogu, no do chain restaurants. Seriously? Ha ha, Rogu joke. Rogu eat from trash can. Stan, we're thrilled you're interested in the CIA's exotic food club, but maybe we weren't clear on what our objective is. For example, when my boy Wolfgang auditioned for our club, he brought in deep-fried pigeon feet. Wait, that's Wolfgang? I assumed you were Wolfgang. No, I'm Dale. Oh, then who's Verasmus? She's sick. Anyway, Stan, you've brought in what appears to be gas station coffee cake. It's Antimons! You're not getting it. We told you to bring something exotic. Oh, I thought you said quixotic. So you feel that the Antimons is quixotic? Yeah, I was banking on no one knowing what that meant. Why don't I just try again? Stan, leave the Entenmann's. Do you want more, Rogu? This means more. Hey, Helen Keller, keep it down. Me and my fellow code monkeys are mining for bitcoins. I got so many. I'm going to be so rich. You're just writing Bitcoin over and over in a Word document. Okay, man. One of us is drowning in cryptocurrency, and one of us is being paid five bucks an hour to watch a farting tumor. Actually, I'm babysitting Rogu for free to prove to Mom I'm oh ready to- Oh my God, I didn't ask for your life story. Unless you'd be willing to sell it. How does three Bitcoin sound? This is a restraining order against you from that girl who- Oh man, I got hacked. Uh-uh, Roger said no candy. Okay, 
but promise to tell Roger how good of a babysitter I was. <laughs> Rogu! Rogu! <coughs> what the? Oh no! That's why no candy? <coughs> what the hell? I don't know why you're shocked, man. Rogu's crazy. He does crazy shit. <laughs> When Roger said not to feed them candy, I didn't think they'd multiply. I think I know one way we can fix this problem. Really? What? Are you sure you want to hear about it? Because you've gotten mad when I've tried to discuss this before. Oh my god, I'm not going to that church with you, Klaus. It's a cool church, Steve. The preacher wears jeans. There's a rock band. The preacher's wife is a graphic designer. Do you get the picture I'm painting? Uh, I'll just call Roger. He'll know how to defuse this. See? I do have a girlfriend! All those candles I bought were for someone who exists! So who's the liar now, Brad? Damn it, straight to voicemail. Just call your mom. She can't know I'm babysitting, much less screwing it up. Where did you get that candy? I keep loose gummy worms under the couch cushions. What? Wait! <laughs> <coughs> Should we just call Terminex and call it a day? Klaus, we, we gotta do something! I already did. I gave the shy Rogu a bottle to spin. Rogu has errand to run. Oh no! Back inside, Rogu. But Rogu have score to settle. They're all gone. They did it. They finally moved to Big City. I have tons of boys. Whoa! How did you get them to calm down? No fang. I just threw on some random YouTube video. First of all, Roger said no screen time. And second, this is not random. This is your song. Steve, this song belongs to the world now. You saw what happened when they ate candy? God knows what your janky ass video will do to them. Janky ass? Not according to the comments. Listen, Vape Pimp 77 refers to it as I make $200 a day working from home. Oh. My. God. Yeah, that's pretty big coming from Vape Pimp. He's growing! Well, we gotta get him outside! Come on, Rogu! You want screen time? Yes, but better video! Screw you, Rogu! I make you all big and now you're shitting on my song? Rogu want! And I got Oh. Oh. <laughs> More 